Okay, so here we have a Okamoto. Uh, this is the 16, uh, 618DX, uh, three axis automatic, uh, wired for two, 230 volts, three phase. Uh, we have a little cooling system that goes along with it. And you got a nice uh, fine division uh, chuck here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, turn the hydraulics on. It's nice and quiet. We'll start the grinding wheel. Well, that's nice and quiet. Uh, down below here you have this lever. This is for your, your table speed. Once you uh, select the starting the table there, your hand wheel automatically pops out and then you set your speed. So you got a couple of dogs here and a couple of dogs here on the side for your travel of your saddle. And You could feed down by hand with this hand wheel if you wanted to. There's a manual uh, jog position. You have rapid uh, travel of your wheel slide. You can stop this table for a minute. You have uh, wrap it up and wrap it down. You, then you have your manual pulse generator. You could always reset this to zero and uh, go down with this. And you have two other finer settings that are even finer, all the way down to uh, about 10 millions. And you have, of course, your emergency stop, your hydraulics, your spindle, your coolant. You wrap it up and down. You have a jog for the down feed, uh, the selecting of the type of grinding, slot grinding or surface grinding, and then a couple of uh, settings here for your actual little grinding cycle. Uh, and up here you also have uh, for your cross feed whether you want to step or move this in and out continuously and you have a potentiometer here for the, uh, the, the, the speed of the travel. So uh, what you want to do is put some kind of a value in here. Uh, let's put in two thousands and we can start the table and I'll put this into the the feed, uh, the automatic position, auto cycle. And our saddle is actually moving right now. It's hard to see. And when it reverses, we're going to feed down. It just did. It went from 2,000 to 1,000. Taking some pretty big cuts here. When it gets the other side of the chuck, it'll go down to zero. and then start doing a certain amount of spark out passes, whatever I have uh, set in here. You also can do plunge grinding. Uh, that's where you use one of these other settings here. You have to go back into your edit mode, uh, put a value in there, say, uh, say 10 thousands. We start our table again and we start our feed and now each pass back and forth I'm going to feed down one thousandths without the saddle moving just grinding a plunge or what they call a slot and when it gets to zero uh, it does a certain amount of spark outs and then it stops when you want to do another cycle you have to touch your part off using the manual pulse generator measure uh, how much uh, material you want to put off put that actual value in here and then start your table and then start your cycle and it'll feed down from there. Now I'm only using a coarse feed because you have such an adjustment here you could feed um, down below a, uh, below a tenth with just your coarse feed but they do have a fine feed so you can actually have a coarse and a fine feed in the grinding cycle. So we'll start off feeding say five tenths each, each down feed and you can at the end uh, you pick at what point, uh, two tenths away from final size, I could switch to 50 millions uh, down feed. So that's nice for some people. Other people just want to go uh, quickly like I just did. Um, that's pretty much it. This is a nice machine. This is the original factory paint. That's the Okamoto 618DX, three axis automatic. Thank you.